A little bit about our university. Um, we're a, a mid-sized tech university, private, and uh, uh, we have around 8,000 active students and uh, around 1,500 combined staff, faculty, adjuncts. Uh, our portal guard environment is actually in a hosted data center, um, so it is uh, open to the outside world. And we have, uh, you know, education-specific applications like Blackboard um, for our online uh, courses. And we utilize Genzibar for our student information system, uh, which I'm sure if uh, some of you do use Genzibar, you're aware of their new product called J1 Web. Uh, so they have they've gone to that web interface and uh, and that is supported as well. And Office 365, which, uh, you know, is uh, is huge in the education sector right now. So, <clears throat> um, you know, before Porter Guard, uh, we uh, utilized ADFS uh, for our single sign-on, and uh, if you've used ADFS, um, you know it's it's kind of a rigid product. Uh, I know they've made some improvements in 2019, um, but before that, as we all know, Microsoft can be behind the curve sometimes, and uh, <clears throat> you know it, there's just it lot, left a lot to be desired. Uh, you know, it wasn't a very seamless or streamlined solution. Uh, the support for CAS protocol was virtually non-existent, uh, which I think they've made some changes to, but it's extremely difficult and overbearing to configure. Uh, there really was no differentiation. If you have different tenants for students and staff and faculty, uh, it was very difficult to, as a matter of fact, I don't even think you could uh, treat both of them differently with the same ADFS environment. Uh, <clears throat> no reporting, excuse me, there's no reporting in ADFS and the self-service, uh, you know, self-service functions and help desk functionality uh, is not there. So um, <clears throat> there's, uh, again, uh, the self-service stuff, identity verification, you know, if you wanted to uh, verify the identity of a user wanting to make changes to their account, uh, that mechanism didn't exist. Uh, and the result of that is it increased the workload on our help desk and on our engineers as well, uh, because we couldn't have students uh, that worked on our help desk going into our ADFS environment and, and doing these things or into our AD environment. And uh, so they would end up having to escalate that to tier three support, which would be, you know, the engineers on staff. And uh, that would be something that, that, that would be put on their plate. So, and of course, you know, uh, uh, <clears throat> right before semesters begin, uh, that's when, you know, people tend to forget their passwords and things like that. So there's always a surge of help desk re requests and uh, phone calls and emails uh, right before uh, the beginning of a semester. So, uh, 